What's going on, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a Balenciaga unboxing. In this box here, I have a pair of Balenciaga shoes that are completely weird. They're quirky. They're a bit on the clown spectrum. I'm kind of questioning my taste right now, but they are so cool. They are the Hummer Derby Balenciaga shoes. I don't know if you want to call them. They're not a loafer. They're not a sneaker. They're not a boat shoe. I don't honestly know what you want to call these, but I must say they're quite cool. They're definitely different. The snout on them is kind of like what's giving me clown. You know, it's giving me a little bit of a uh, Bobo. What's a clown name? I'm loving it. Clowns. Tricks to tell. I don't know, but they're kind of on the clown uh, vibe. So I I'm bold to check these out. I'm sure you're wondering what they look like in person. I'm gonna give you an honest review in this video and we're gonna unbox these shoes, check them out together. I'm working with Shoe Pop. If you're not familiar with Shoe Pop, do yourself a favor, check them out. Their options of shoes are phenomenal. They have so many different styles, brands, luxury, Nike, Adidas, everyday type of shoes, fancy shoes like this, weird ones. So Shoe Pop's information is gonna be in the description box down below. Check them out, but today we're gonna box these, do a little try on sesh, and hopefully it'll look too much like a fool. If you're interested, grab yourself a snack, perhaps a drink, keep on watching. Yes, I'm living my inner Britney Spears big one more time fantasy. Do not judge me. This is a very unique outfit that I had on the back burner for quite some time. And these shoes, I mean, come on, you don't wear an average fit for a pair of shoes like this, right? So yeah, that's the vibe. So let's get these unboxed. They came via FedEx. Shoe Pop shipped them quite qu quick, I have to say. They came in a very decent amount of time. So we are one step closer. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I do not know if I'm ready for this. So we have a Balenciaga box, the iconic gray standard Balenci box right there. Great for decorating the closet, you know what I mean? And on the inside. Okay. We're not there yet. We have a little discount, and this will score you 15 bucks off if you want to use code George. That is all Shoe Pops info. So if you want a little concierge service or some type of help with the shoe department, this will be linked down below as well. All right, so immediately we have, looks like a Balenciaga dust bag. Love these for traveling. Brace yourself because these, they're so, Weird, oh my gosh. They look a little smaller. Oh my God, they're actually really freaking cool. So they are matte black. They're lighter than I was expecting. They're light for Balenciaga shoe, I have to say that. What? They're so weird, they're so weird. All right, so we're going to check these out every angle on the angle, do a little deep dive, so bear with me. Welcome to The Freak Show. We are checking out the Balenciaga Palmer Derby shoes for the clowns, okay? Call me a clown because I think these are actually so cool. They are very strange, quirky, and right up my alley. So I'm very excited to be adding these Balenciaga shoes to my collection. They're way lighter than I was expecting. I think that's because they're made out of rubber. I don't know how I did not know that but they are rubber shoes. Like literally, like they, they're light AF. Probably good in the rain, so that's good to know. You know, durability, we always appreciate that. So we're gonna kick this review off with the exterior profile. I mean, look at that, that nose. That right there is so <laughs> weird. That's why I'm getting clowned, because this reminds me of something that would be in a freak show nature, you know what I mean? but I am loving it. They also are preppy. So that's kind of like why I say them to wear with this fit because they're giving like prep vibes. At the same time, not. I, this material is kind of freaking me out. This is way different than I've ever seen on a shoe. I mean, they feel kind of like a crock, not too long. I don't know how I feel about that, but very, very neat. I think this, this stitching on here is not actually even stitching. It is just, embosed so weird very very weird but yeah that's a silhouette that is unforgettable very cool the interior is basically the exact same so exterior interior 
There's really no difference at all. There's literally only one visible spot that says Balenciaga, and that is on the front right there on the lip, which it's camouflaged in. Like, it's not even like an in-your-face logo. It's not a different color to offset all this black. It's very minimal and chic in a way. I kind of like that. It's something I do appreciate is it's not all about the logos sometimes. So keep that in mind. I, I think that's pretty cool. The shoelaces, black, once again, camouflage right in. The snout though, like you're gonna see that from a mile away when it's like, when you're walking. I'm so excited to try to walk in these, but that is really, really cool. The back of the shoe is the back of the shoe. I really have no idea how I did not realize that they are a rubber. I should probably read more um, of descriptions of products. That's probably a good idea. But yeah, what a nice little surprise. Of course, it says Balenciaga right there on the inside of the shoe. And the bottom says Balenciaga right there as well, but it's tiny. It is teeny tiny compared to how they are with the triple S's and Defenders and all those Balenciaga shoes. These are very humble. No, I gotta say it's 44, which is equivalent to a 10 US men's, and I'm ready to try these on, so let's give it a shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> these are wild. They are wild. These are out of control. I'm looking at myself in my mirror over here and I'm like, George, what are you doing with life? What is going on here? What are you thinking? What do you think you are trying to pull these off? All right, so let's try to walk. Let's try to walk with these puppies because honestly, oh. <laughs> they, they're crazy. They are abstract AF, but I have to say, okay, I must be used to Balenciaga shoes because they're not, they're not that crazy to walk in. They're light. So I think that's what's like kind of helpful is the fact that they are not heavy. Balenciaga shoes are usually massive, which these are. I mean, obviously they're they're big, they're big shoes, but they're not weighing me down. Here is an angle from below so you can see what they look like on ground zero. So this is definitely up close and personal. Now the shoes, like I said, they're light, honestly. I could probably run in these if I had to. But look at that, look at that front. Like that front right there, that's probably what you're wondering. Like how does that look from down below? It looks crazy, it looks unhinged. It looks, it looks like, you know, if you wanna make a statement, these are definitely a piece to wear. From above, they look just as psychotic. Like that, that's just wild. That is just wild to me. Balenciaga never fails to have the most weird, odd, silhouetted shoes. But somehow, <laughs> they're comfortable. All right guys, that is a wrap for this Balenciaga Hummer Derby X shoe pop experience. Let me tell you, these, these shoes, they did not disappoint. Did they surprise? Absolutely. I was not expecting them to be of this material at all. I'm not mad about it, I'm actually, kind of happy because it's it's different. I thought they were gonna be more on the like leather, kind of like loafer type of fancy shoe, but the fact that they're lightweight and this massive. <laughs> See, did it even make a sound? You know, if a tree falls in a forest, does it make a sound? That's the question. This did not make that much of a sound. They're so freaking light, so comfortable. I'm very surprised about the comfort, but 10 out of 10 from you guys, Shoe Pop killed it. These shoes are amazing. Check out Shoe Pop and all their information is down below in the description box. I'm not gonna drag this out any further, guys. They're cool shoes. And if this is not your taste, you're welcome for, for checking them out for you. <laughs> They're that weird, but I'm happy to add them to my Balenci collection. While you're here, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I love your company. Click the notification bell because I will notify you whenever I upload new content. So if you wanna stay in touch, that's a great way, as well as my Instagram, at George, where you can catch me on Insta. And I do a lot of fashion inspo, little OOTD moments, share products like this, and just a deep dive into my life. So catch all my socials down below. And until next time, as always, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.